Epic Rap Battles of Half-Life. Dr. Breen versus the Snark. Begin. Let me tell you all the story of a crooked puppet master who blew himself apart in a fiery disaster. You tried to save the earth, but slaved the earth throughout the process. Betrayed your own kind, sold him out and fed him nonsense. I'm the Snark and I creep and I crawl through the halls. This old fart, Dr. Brain, is a geek with no balls. Once I'm thrown on the battlefield, everybody cowers. Well, you've never even seen a battlefield because you're a coward. Let me post this message directly to you, little beetle. If you're such a good weapon, why didn't you make it in the sequel? Any Half-Life veteran knows well to avoid you. Half the time you just attack the poor guy who deployed you. Tell me please if you would, man, why do you rhyme? You say so little and yet somehow waste so much of my time. Maybe you should give my private reserves a little chuck. I'm the roar of the earth. You're just a stupid little bug. Very funny old man, but watch who you call a bug. If I recall, you literally get turned into a slug because you died running from the frame and pants filled with doo-doo. And this bug appears in two more half-life games than you do. Wallace, Citadel compensating because your penis is the smallest. You couldn't even keep the peace and now your city's lawless. You're nothing but a boring lame tyrant. I'm a weapon and an enemy that's interesting and viral. Okay, my empire fell, but at least I had a plan. You just explode 15 seconds after leaving someone's hand. And the impact that I left on the series is immeasurable. You're somehow less important than Dr. Magnuson's cast. I'm tired of this rap. It's such an insane mismatch. The ruler of the earth and insects trading distracts. You're not on my level and you're not worth a rhyme. And I'd rather kill myself than hear that one more time. Who won? Who's next? You decide. Epic rap battles are half-life.